Zenobia, I've been wanting to talk to you. Are you willing to listen? Speak. Thanks. Our ability to fight, Xenofactor, is almost a form of technology, right? It is activated by our instinctual need to fight to protect ourselves. That same tech made this world, where Amatsume and Yamatoka were born. That means both of them were probably made from that same tech, too. Correct. You are a product of your homeworld, as I am of mine. If we figure Yamatoga's immortality is a technology like Xenofactor, that means there are limits to how long it can be used and sustained. And it has to be triggered, in this case, a being survival instinct. Exactly. And just about every living thing in existence has it. Didn't I tell you this already? Hmm. Yamatoka, you, Zenobia, and Amatsume are overlooking something major. Huh? And that is? Humans can choose to die. Huh. W what All living things should... No, must put self-preservation above all else. If humans can choose to ignore this, they are fatally flawed as a species. Seriously, do your species and your planet even have a future? I'll get to your question in a sec, Yamatoka. First, I want to say this. If I kill myself, then I think... No, I know Yamatoga will die with me. With him out of the picture, Amatsume can send the others back to Earth. Are you serious, boy? Why tell me any of this? You should have stayed silent. I will stop any attempt to kill Yamatoga. You cannot begin to imagine what I'd do to you, should you try such a thing. Sorry about that, Zenobia. I just needed to know how you really felt. Now that I know how important Yamatoga is to you, we can negotiate. Honestly, I fear death. I doubt I'd have the balls to kill myself. Kanata, you are one intriguing creature. You seem to be plotting something, but your time grows short, I think. For the survival of the clan, we are taking the shortest path to victory. My elite soldiers are already moving to secure the Radium System's core. With Yamatoka's power split as it is, you have no hope of stopping them. However, I'd prefer it if we weren't at odds with each other. I had no idea you had thought things that far through, Kanata. Staying here and building an eternal utopia just for the twelve of us... ...or something equally irresponsible and short-sighted isn't in the cards. That smacks of escapism. We have lives waiting for us back on Earth. I don't really have any other choice but to grasp at straws at this point. It's just that all the options we have right now kind of suck. You have a plan, don't you? Amatsume said that the person I had to be most careful of was me. I think she had me pegged right from the start. <laughs> 